they'll find a way to make it fun. Still, that's just the way they were. Everything we did with, anything they did, and what we did with them was always fun. Um, first off, I wanted to uh, thank Bob. You know, the later years were tough for him health-wise, but during his healthy years, he was just a wonderful provider for my sister and for her kids. And I really, really appreciate it. He always taught me about family being number one, and he, he didn't just walk the walk, he talked. Oh, he, didn't talk. he didn't just talk the talk, he walked the walk, because he was definitely a great provider and was always there for his kids. Whether it was baseball games, whether it was gymnastics, dance, he was always there. And, and I always appreciate, also, when I first met him, when they started dating, Right away, he took me like a big brother. He took me to Angel Games, took me golfing. Just right away, made me, made me feel at home, and I really appreciate that. Uh, so I just want to share uh, one of the stories, one of the many uh, funny stories with him. So uh, when they had a little 15-foot sailboat that they kept in their driveway. And uh, so we would go down to the harbor here, and um, I would just, you know, we could only fit so many people, so we would take two or three at a time, and then one of us would wait their turn. So it was the uh, and myself and Bob, and you know, Bob was the captain, and everything was cool, it was nice, and looking at all the big yachts and everything, and uh, I felt something wasn't quite right. And uh, I looked back, and the rudder was stuck in Bob's pocket, and he's like trying to get it out. <laughs> and like, I can't, you know, I, the expletive, I can't say what he was saying, but he, and he was laughing, like, <laughs> <laughs> and he's like trying to get this rudder out of his pocket. And we're going straight out of boat with some people there having their four o'clock tea. And I'm thinking half of me is also laughing, but the other half is going like, iceberg dead ahead. You know? <laughs> and uh, so these people are looking at us, and at the last second he was able to, to get it out of the. It's like I'm thinking like, Bob, it's not like you got to pull your wallet out of your pocket. You got to get the rudder out. You know? And he just made the turn. We just saved it. And then the guy, I know the guy, he said a lot of nice save, but inside he's going, you know, man. I think the funniest part of the story is he had the rudder stuck in his pocket, but the boats were parked on both sides. He's going like this, and like this, and like that. And by the time he was done, his pants were down to his knees. And that was too high. Too high. So, I mean, I can be here all night talking about the funny stories with Bob. And, uh, I love you, Bob. We all thank you, all of us. He and he brought all of us together here today. And I want to thank him for the rest of my life. I'll be grateful. And uh, thank you again for all for coming. hands on.